What's up guys, it's CodeMonkey here with you today. Uh, we're going to be going over some optimization for your game, so of course you can have great graphics, a great gaming experience, and not a lot of lag. Um, of course not all of us have super computers or anything super fancy to make this work fast and efficiently. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go into video settings. Of course, I would highly recommend if you don't have a better, com better computer to move this to a lower quality, such as fast. Um, this does have Optifine installed. So it makes everything a ton easier and gives you the maximum amount of potential for your game. So um, here we have, we have our graphics on fast, we have our smooth lighting off, which is normally on. Um, that just gives you shadows, but if you use a shaders mod after you're done optimizing this, which you should be able to do, um, you won't need smooth lighting because it will already have shadows and everything in there for you. Um, so you don't want to mess with your GUI scale, obviously. I always like to make my brightness bright, not recommend, well, I mean, you don't have to, it's just a matter of opinion. Always make sure you turn your fog off so you can see in the distance. Um, it makes it everything better. <laughs> Uh, I hate the fog personally, um, and then you can go ahead and go into details and try to just change everything to fast. I like my water to be fancy, uh, it's just picky of me, I just like to see it all fancy and has tons of effects in it and all that, so I like to keep it at fancy. Um, then there's sky on, which you can leave on, um, sun and moon on, you can turn them off and it will be faster, but uh, it, from what I can tell it doesn't make a huge difference. Uh, depth fog off, definitely don't want that. Uh, whenever you get to translucent blocks, you want that to be at fast. Um, don't want cloud height, really. Uh, you can leave it, I mean, there's no way to really turn them off in this mod pack because of the storms, so you gotta keep that in mind. Um, grass, you wanna make fast unless you want fancy looking grass. But uh, I don't think it really does much. Uh, rain and snow you want to be fast usually, especially in this mod pack, because once again the weather mod comes into play and uh, you can get a lot very quickly. Um, stars off, uh, I usually turn them off just so I have a clear night sky. I can tell whenever it's getting dark. Um, show capes, you can have those on or off, it doesn't really matter unless you're a multiplayer. Um, held item tooltips on, that doesn't really affect your gaming much, so you can go ahead and leave that on. Dropped items, I like to make fancy, it gives it a 3D view of it, so we'll go ahead and look at that. It's 3D instead of that 2D, it gives you a whole new dimension of everything, so it's definitely fun and worth looking at. Uh, I like keeping them fancy, I don't think it's that big of a deal unless you have like 30 or 40 of them going, you know. <laughs> uh, animations, I like to keep them all on, although you can turn them off, which will make it faster. Um, I didn't see a big improvement over that, I saw about maybe 20 megabytes less of RAM with all these off, so... Not a huge difference really, so I like to do all on, particles all, but I mean you can do minimal and that will uh, pick you up in speed as well. Um, it's all what usually your computer can handle, keep that in mind. Uh, render distance, I like to move down to 10, that seems to be like the sweet spot because you get a little bit of viewing distance as well as you get uh, less lag from the chunk loading. Um, my max frame rate, I like to take this all the way to unlimited instead of vsync, because vsync usually cuts it off at 32 so making that unlimited really gives your computer that time to ramp up and get everything going uh, view bobbing on of course you want your head to move when you walk <laughs> uh, advanced open GL you want it to be on fast um, as you can see you can actually read what it says it does on the different levels but I always try to go for fast chunk loading this is probably the biggest performance enhancing thing ever of course you'll be at default just starting out then there'll be smooth smooth is great and it looks amazing as long as you have a powerful computer but if you go from smooth to multi-core it just it's just straight out power to the game and gives you that real edge on gaming and you get to see everything and have great frame rates uh, you don't need to mess with your fog start now that we're here we don't need to mess with your fog start at all um, because you have it turned off of course um, but if you do have it on I mean uh, Fog really kind of just holds down the game for me. I mean, if you're playing in, like, a creepy, scary horror world, fog will be great and everything, but just remember that other players can turn it off. Um, go ahead and going into quality. I don't really mess with the minimap levels much. I mean, uh, maximum smoothing looks great. I mean, it doesn't make that big of a difference because it's just a little chunk in the top right. 
Um, I don't usually put any filtering in. I mean, yes, it makes it look better, but uh, yeah, I don't really do that because it just keeps it fast and uh, keeps everything going great. Um, clear water, I always have on. I just love to be able to see in the water, especially in this mod now, having sharks and swordfish and uh, just pretty much anything that can kill you. <laughs> Uh, now, I like to have better grass on fast, of course, uh, custom fonts, swamp colors, both on. Um, it is faster with those off, but uh, let's be honest, you want to have a little bit of excitement in your game. Uh, connected textures, I always try to make fast. Custom sky on, which you definitely want on now that you have uh, this weather mod in, because you need to be able to see storms coming until you can get a weather forecaster. Um, Mini map type, uh, you can do nearest or whatever you want, but uh, rough smoothing is usually pretty good for this because it, it takes less. I mean, it's just doing a rough code. It's not trying to make it perfect and beautiful. I like to leave uh, this off right here because, it, it yes, it smooths jagged lines and gets everything looking top notch, but I've also done that and been down to like five frames a second, so it's not even able to be played. Um, random mobs doesn't really need to be on so you can turn them off because there's not really any random weird mods that need it you know because um, there's we don't have any extra textures going on that you see in some of the other packs um, better snow I like to keep that off once again due to the weather mod um, they look just fine without it I mean and being that it is a different texture pack I don't even know if that would actually apply to it or not Custom colors, I always recommend to be on because you want some life in your game, of course. Smooth biomes, you can have that on or off. It doesn't really make a big difference. Um, I mean, it says it's faster, yeah, but uh, it hasn't been that big of a deal for me, really. So I usually leave it on. And then natural textures, I usually have off. But, uh, I mean, you can turn them on. It doesn't make that big of a difference. Um, all right, let's see. We were at quality there, yes we were, so we're going to go straight into performance. Alright, smooth FPS, you want that to be off. Yes, smooth FPS makes everything look smooth and nice, but if you don't have a super fast boss computer, smooth FPS just holds you down and doesn't give you that max potential, because it's trying to keep everything at an equal frame rate, which is uh, helpful, yes, but at the same time, it's kind of a holdback for you as a person. Um, load far, I always try to keep that off, because, yeah, <laughs> it will really do a lot of chunk loading for you and slow down your computer. And as soon as you start moving, it starts that process all over again. Not to mention if you're turning around in circles, jumping around, swinging your pickaxe in the air, yelling at the game for being too difficult. Um, chunk updates, I just like to keep at one. Uh, I mean... You can, I mean, you can read here, we can we can go ahead and go to 5, but I've always seen this to kind of hold down this, but we, we can we can run it at 5. I mean, it says it's the fastest uh, for lowest FPS um, chunk updates, so, I mean, you can force your computer, but at the same time, yes, it's the fastest for frame rate, of course, but it also is going to put more pressure on your processor as you're going. So, as long as you have a good processor, I wouldn't worry about chunk updates. Um, next we're going to go into fast math. You definitely want that on. It gets everything just moving faster. It's like, hey guys, let's wake up and go to work today. Um, then fast render, of course you want that on. Get everything going fast again, and that gets your GPU going faster, your actual video graphics card going. Fast math gets your uh, processor going, and fast render gets your GPU going. So you can definitely check on for both of those. Smooth world, I like to keep off and not on. Uh, FPS stabilization isn't that big of a deal for me. Um, <laughs> as you can see in my videos, uh, it doesn't make a big impact having that off or on. Um, although it does affect performance. Um, so you definitely want to take that in consideration. It's all what works best for your computer. Uh, Preload chunks, I usually have that off because that's one of those things where it's just loading chunks while you're standing in the same place. And sometimes when you're moving, because there's lazy chunk loading. Yeah, that's when you're just standing in one place and it keeps loading chunks, which is great. Um, but once again, you can read it off, read it down there. Turn it off if parts of the world do not load correctly. Effective only for local worlds and a single core CPU. So, if you have a quad core or dual core, you definitely want that off is what it's recommending. So you got to be able to do that. Dynamic updates just gives you, like, it forces the updates to happen even while you're standing still so I usually keep that off and I usually keep preload chunks off 
Um, other, you don't really need to worry about. It's just your lagometer and stuff like that. Stuff that you don't really need to use, but it'd be cool to have if you're trying to see how much you can stress the game before you get it to crash. Alright, now that you can see that we've uh, made all those updates, we are running 30 frames per second, which isn't bad, especially with the sun coming up and moving shadows. Um, you gotta remember, my computer's also being a little held down just from the recording aspect of it. Whenever I'm not recording, I'm usually running around 40. So, 40 FPS is not bad at all. Um, a lot of people say, yeah, shoot for 60, shoot for 50, all that stuff. But, let's be honest, it's kind of overkill for what we're doing here. Um, as you can see, it's perfectly fine running at 32. I mean, the eye doesn't see past, like, I think 32 or... 20 something it's it's not 60 so having those extra frames doesn't really make everything that much better as long as you're over I would say 20 FPS like if it just spikes down a bit that's okay but as long as it's spiking up and getting up to those high numbers um, that's really what matters and what is great for you like as you can see I've turned it off now and it's running a lot smoother not having all those updates up there so just to keep in mind, you can see how nice everything's looking in this beautiful land of Superbia. Thank you guys for watching today. I hope you learned some stuff. I hope I helped you out a little bit. And just have a good day. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see next. Just give me info. Thank you guys again. Subscribe and like. Goodbye.